What's up, everybody, and welcome to the J World family. It is Tuesday, June 20th, 2021, and I'm coming to you right now, real quick, with a quick video with some huge breaking news for one specific Six Flags park, and that is Six Flags Great Escape up in the Lake George, Queensberry area. Um, it's the only Six Flags park that's doing it. So as we know, across the board, across the country, we have a huge staffing crisis in all types of jobs. This year, this summer is feeling it in the lifeguard field, and now the theme park industry is feeling it. So, if you go back and watch my last video, um, I was there a week and a half ago with a buddy of mine. We went on a Saturday. I don't usually go to parks on the weekend because they're so packed. Well, it was packed, but we also got to see how bad the staffing crisis is at Great Escape. Rides were closed. Food booths were closed. Um, shops were closed. It was it was bad. There was a lot of rides closed. They actually had rides open in the first part of the day, closed certain rides so they could move staff to other rides to open them up later in the day. And then the food booths being closed, it, it made the few food booths that were open, the lines were too long. So they have decided they are going to be closed for the foreseeable future on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They will no longer be open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They will only be open Thursday through Monday. Um, and then with that, they're going to be able to extend their hours on the nights they are open. On the days they are open, they'll extend their hours. Because now you'll be able to take all that staff you're spreading for seven days down to five. Honestly, Great Escape, Six Flags Great Escape, I give you all the credit. I think this is a great decision because... Doing it the other way, keeping it open seven days a week with that much stuff closed, it's just not worth it. So, they did say if anybody has bought passes and they were specifically going for those days, they will give refunds, they will they will work with you, they'll try to change your dates, whatever you need to do. Um, also, just because I read the article, they are willing, they are, anybody that wants to go work there, Six Flags Great Escape, in the Lake George, Queensbury area, the capital region of New York, they're offering um, free passes if you work for them, bonuses, um, um, they're they're upping their pay, uh, $15 an hour for certain attractions and more. Um, they're offering a lot right now. They are really desperate for staff and they are definitely looking. So definitely go. You're getting employee discounts, paid training, free tamp transportation if you need it to get there to work. This shows you they, they are willing to do what they got to do to get staff in that park. So that's the big news. They're going to be closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays for the foreseeable future and open Thursdays through Monday. Six Flags Great Escape in the Queensbury, Lake George, New York area. I will definitely be going back there to check how different it will be now with hopefully more staff being there on the five days it's open than being spread out. See if everything can be open now um, and we'll see how that goes. This Friday, I am going back. It's been two months. We are finally going back to Six Flags New England. We haven't been there since May 22nd. So we are going back this Friday, one, to celebrate my five, five-year-old, sorry, she's six now, she just turned six, my six-year-old stepdaughter's birthday. And we're gonna go there to check the park out. The last time we were there, we had to wear face masks, all that stuff. Well, it's all changed now, so we're gonna get to go back and experience that park, no face mask, and to see what other changes have been made. Um, so you'll be joining us on that on Friday. But I will definitely go on back to Great Escape real soon to show you how the park is doing with these new changes. Also, there's another park up in this article that I read. There's another park up there. It's a family-friendly kid park. Um, it's Magic Forest Dinosaur Expedition Amusement Park. Um, it's a little, small little park up there in the Lake George area. If you ever want to go, if you go to Great Escape and you stay up there for a few days, you can go to this park. I have never been there. In all my years of living in New York, I've never gotten to go to this park. Uh, we would like to go. <clears throat> well, they're also feeling the hiring crisis. The woman there that's running the park, she says they're going to try to stay open seven days a week because they're trying to make up for loss for last year. Um, but if anything, if it doesn't get any better, then they might have to do the same thing and drop down um, to being open a few less days. So that's the big news. Six Flags Great Escape, only going to be open five days a week, Thursday through Monday, close Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So anybody that's looking for a job, go get one. Anybody that wants to go there, go check it out and follow us along. And we'll show you how much different the park is now with these changes coming up. With that being said, we will see you on the next episode of the J-World Family. And have a good night.